Hey, hey, everybody. This morning I was in devotion, spending time with God, and I asked the Lord, I said, what should I share with your people today? And God gave me Matthew chapter five. Uh, and he said, you know, read that. So I said, okay. I said, Lord, this is about the Beatitudes. This is a lot of information. Is there anything specific? And he said, you'll know it when you see it. So I spent time pouring over the, you know, the verses that are there in this particular section. And the thing that stood out to me was verse four, blessed are those who mourn for they shall be comforted. And so, uh, my encouragement for you this evening, morning, or whatever time of day that you may be watching this, is that God loves you, He cares, and it matters to you, and that there are blessings for you. Even though you may be mourning, you may have lost a family member, a friend, a loved one, a relationship of some sort. It could be a job. It could be maybe some place you were living before and you can't be there anymore. Uh, it could be a myriad of different things. Um, but... There are blessings for you. God said, blessed are those who mourn for they shall be comforted. And so, um, and even it's like not a coincidence. I don't even believe in coincidence, coincidences, but it's like ironic that, you know, today I attended a funeral, uh, virtually, uh, praise God for, for technology. I was able to, you know, I wasn't able to be there in person, but to attend a funeral of, of someone who I cared for and it was, you know, they passed away very, very suddenly. Um, and it was just very traumatic for a lot of people who, you know, whomever knew them and, um, their funeral. I saw there were other funerals on, I was on YouTube, tons of other, other funerals. And then as soon as I got off, I heard about the loss of another person that passed away today. I'm just like, Oh my goodness. You know, death is all around us in the news. We see there's so much tragedy and trials and tribulations of some sort, you know, um, People are angry. People are sad. People are hurting. But the Bible says, blessed are those who mourn for they shall be comforted. And so you may not be going through a season of loss, but then how can you comfort others? You know, if you see somebody hurting in pain, think about ways that you can comfort and be there for somebody and um, be there for them. And also when you're mourning, mourning, you know, it doesn't just happen maybe, you know, one day and then it's over. It's something that goes on. It could be days, weeks, months, years, you know, it all depends. So let us be patient also as well and help people as they're going through their time of, of, of mourning. Um, and to pray for them, to love on them as best as you possibly can and just, you know, be a great support to them. Um, but God loves you and he does remember you if you are in loss, present your loss to him, whatever it is. And he has, um, he definitely wants to comfort you. Jesus knows about loss. And the shortest Bible text in, uh, in the Bible says Jesus wept because he was grieving over the loss of a great friend in the Bible. And Jesus even cries over us. I'm sure in heaven now he looks down on us and all the sadness and everything that's going on in the earth. And he grieves for us. Um, but he says, blessed are those who mourn for they shall be comforted. And God provides comfort for us. And that can come in different forms and different fashions. It's going to be different for everybody. But if you can be a comfort to somebody around you, to somebody that is, to somebody that is mourning, do that. Be that, you know, as best as you possibly can. And if you are mourning, um, you know, make it aware to others and so that they do know and that they, you know, you can get help wherever that you need it and don't mourn in silence, mourn by yourself and be sad or, you know, dealing with whatever feelings that you may be having all by yourself. We are, you know, God didn't create us, you know, by ourselves, you know, we're here as, you know, this great big family, the church of God. And even if, you know, you know, whatever your religion may be, you know, we're here to help each other. It's, you know, just basic human beings. Let's do what we can to help each other, encourage each other and to comfort one another. Blessed are those who mourn for they shall be comforted. That's in Matthew chapter five, verse four. I encourage you to go and read it. And until next time, I love you. Know that I'm praying for you. If you have any prayer requests, please drop it down below and I will see you next time. Ciao. Take care.